and welcome back to Cloudpunk. We are getting a coffee. Big mission, <laughs> but we deserve it. It was a very long day, and I'm not sure where to park. <laughs> I suppose we did learn that in the future, if we ever gonna get flying cars, there are gonna be like dozens of assholes who want to land in a I don't know, at Walmart, but they're gonna be like hovering in the air, figuring out where the fuck do I land? Where can you can you land? And you just don't know. Like I don't know. Where do I land? Where can a what where can a man park or woman park here? Oh, we got parking zones here. Okay, I guess I'm parking here. But it's gonna be a uh, well Well we gotta run a little bit more here. Corpse sec clerk. We, we can't talk to him. There's no point uh, looking at the colo cash because we don't even have a bank account, so not important. Getting myself a coffee, Rania. That's just irresponsible. Don't you know that these the coffee is basically worth nothing? You can just buy yourself a bag of coffee and a coffee machine, and that's probably gonna like, cost you as much as like buying two coffees. Uh, from these, uh, takeaway shops. Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right, I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction Very technician. impressive. And you want my sleeve? <laughs> Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages, we're farmers, and we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. <laughs> Perhaps, if you Very tell me practical. more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This'll be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, hit me up. For sure. <laughs> oh, no. Your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. I'll do. What? <laughs> okay. Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. 
so numb I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, Your uh, people? I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe what? you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. <laughs> What what is this what is this generalization? You can't just generalize people based on where they are from. Well if you're sensible. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is Like Hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. <laughs> so you're actually... 75. Ooh. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Do what? Are you asking me on a date? No, I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. What? Do something. How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. What? Shooting? That does suck. I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse into that. rifles or any guns, really. Yeah. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. What? That's uh, what just boring. Pizza? Come on, you gotta Better. like pizza. What kind? Artichoke and Avo from the new hipster place uptown. Okay. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. Come on, he was if funny. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll oh, see. Oh, man. I like the coffee guy. That coffee guy likes new experiences. I can appreciate that. And be uh, because of that, I would have said, hell yeah. You want to go shooting? I don't know. I mean, I, I would just try stuff because it's new, I suppose. But at the same time, I many times just stick to stuff that I already know it's good. So, I don't know. Neo, let's chat. Neo? Neo the coffee man? Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? A uh, coffee? Overpriced coffee, give me a coffee. Uh, give me a coffee. That's good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. What does the coffee give me? We don't have the coffee. Welcome to Neo's Neo. That's pretty Not sweet. Thirsty anymore. Give me the Thanks other coffees. For this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. We don't have the coffees. Okay. I guess those are just lose money items. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! Sure. I like that, it's immersive. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. Alright, Mr. Personality, tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. 
Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example. I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. That, that's there God. are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exib whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Cora soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Wow. Higher than I thought. Does mm. everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. Why that? If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey, Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So, again, a lot. So, this core up is... Uh, an AI that is so intelligent it is considered like almost godlike and uh, kind of responsible for running the city and before this AI we had other AIs, the founders but they abandoned humanity in a way so I mean that's, that's the gist of it I suppose and this Korra is just referred to as a, as a god, which I suppose it's fair enough, because... And, well, depends on the definition of, of a god. That definitely depends on the definition, but imagine an entity that is just so above you that you cannot even imagine. Oh my god, control coming in as well. Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No. Why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? 
I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Fessahetic control. Okay, then. So... Arania, I'm not sure it's a good idea that you just tell everyone your name, but I suppose uh, security is not uh, not really possible in this era at all. So, I mean, we're just basically monitored every time and maybe digitally tracked. I don't know if they can, but we definitely monitored, I suppose. They can probably find us at any time and I don't know. So I suppose I'm just I'm just thinking: Is there a point of like trying to having a try try to have a fake name? I don't know if it is. I don't know. So yeah, I suppose we like to be called Rania. Still, I mean, do you want? No, 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 no. Because if your fake name, if your if your clean identity is Rania, would you want to tell? Oh. All the, the cloud punk people, like, they probably don't have access to records. Do you still want to tell them? I would just play it safe. I don't know how much, how effective it would be, but you know, there's just no harm, you know? Why not just be called something else? Something not obviously made up. So I would be called, uh, what is that? On the run Rania, yeah, that would be a terrible name. On my real name plus some something cool. Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here, let's see. Okay. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh yes, this was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48k. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope. Still no clue. You got it. Long ago information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now. But we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. I very much doubt so, it. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory. And the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So, the cycle repeats. Exactly. So, through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpset mm -hmm. catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. 
They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. Okay. So, we did learn. Well, this, that was just interesting. And, wow. Interesting take on it that these action games... Obviously not, because people are just stupid. You know? There you have it. Humans are just stupid. They just do it because it is impulsive entertainment. You know, it makes us happy, I suppose. But games like these... I mean... I don't know if someone would really make that con uh, conclusion, but I suppose someone did. But not the majority. And... Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm, I might just circle, circle back to that. But these games, these type of games, the adventure games and role playing games, are definitely. Uh, I, I definitely value them more. Just like, just like kind of books. But m maybe it could be even better, because this really uh, broadens your perspective, makes you uh, question question your values, and and you just see so much. And I don't know. It's just so so interesting. And and unlike books, you are actually. You actually, you actually have some agency. Maybe not so much in this game because you act more like an observer. I don't really have choices based on what she says. But many times in role-playing games, you do have choices, and uh, helps you explore uh, who you are, who you want to be, and you just see a lot, and and you get a lot of experience in in that way. And I think books are awesome, but these games can be really awesome too. And giving you some agency because in the books you're always always an observer, but in role-playing games you're you you're not you're not only just going on a on a crazy adventure, but you have to make choices. So Corpsec, let's talk. Hi, I uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be. Give it to me. Now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Hmm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said... Nothing happened again. Stop pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. Oh. I swear, that's what it says. <laughs> All right, then. I hope not. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? Oh. No reason. <laughs> Ronnie, you, you sassy, sassy bitch. <laughs> okay, all the cops are idiots so far, which is I ho hope that's not gonna be the case. I wanna see some variety. A lot of Japanese writing, just like you would see in the uh, Blade Runner. I know how to read Japanese, but I I, I don't really I I mean like I'm super clueless about Japanese. I know the alphabet, but I'm basically super clueless. So I mean it would not be too useful. Oh, I went to the wrong place. I think. If you can just like learn the alphabet of other languages, uh, that could be very useful. Like just purely like imagine like let's just say you learn like Spanish or. German. Like, of course, like, the Romantic languages are super easy in that regard, like, as long as you can just differentiate the letters uh, very easily, 
uh, and you kind of know what they stand for, then you can just like watch something. Uh, we have to go back, watch a show, and uh, with with uh, subtitles, and uh, that could be pretty fun. Uh, I know it, it can be a bit extreme that you just start learning a language by just uh, uh, start watching a show that, and with a language that you know nothing about. You literally know nothing about other than the alphabet, and you just start watching it, and uh, you just translate as as you go. But that's that's the most fun and natural way of learning language. Everything else is gonna be filled without purpose and uh, and super dry and uh, total garbage. So, I mean that that's why that's why people learn other languages so easily. When it's like, oh, how did you learn English? Like, did you learn it in school or did you learn it by, by playing games, understanding shows, uh, trying to understand movies? I had like a big purpose. You have a you have a purpose, not a problem. But if like you're just like you gotta have a purpose in the present. How did I even get there? Oh yeah, I was, <laughs> I was, I was talking about. Uh, um, Exploring. Wow, <laughs> I, I'm the worst. I, I was I was first of all talking about just exploring yourself uh, via games because they give you agency. Whatever. Yeah, I I have a uh, I'm, I could be super guilty of going off topic. Like I could be the guy that just talks about stuff all the time and just and just forget. Oh well, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't circle back necessarily just to the same topics for that reason, but. Yeah, I could just go on forever. And that's not necessarily good. I'm definitely not one of those people who just keeps telling the same stories all the time. I'm one of those people who just keeps telling new stuff all the time, even if it could be just totally wrong or just it's just completely random. Just doesn't connect at all to the to what seems to be happening. Uh, at least at least uh, after I just run out of the initial topic. Like right now. So we gotta collect Gil's belongings. Okay, it's a crazy night for sure. Is it ever gonna end or is this game just one crazy night? We don't really know, right? But I'm loving, loving this this uh, city. It's, it's really awesome. I don't even know if there are any other games that portrayed uh, cyberpunk like this or... I have no idea. There are some games uh, from super long ago that I don't even know the name of that had this kind of a futuristic city with flying around vibe to it. I don't know the name. I mean, maybe some some uh, champs in the chat can uh, help me out, but I, I have no idea. Like I, I know of some games that were like this, but I have I know of no games that were like this. Like of course we had games in the uh, future is exciting, but not without this, not with this. Uh, flying around. Ultimately, this is not strictly about the future, but more like exploration of yourself. And, uh... Electronics. So, we are heading, uh... One level up, right? Did I even land in the, in the right place? Do I need to go back? Talking to the merchant doesn't seem to make make a sense. So we are here. And I need to be over there. <sighs> and there is a lift. Bunch of bags. Gotta leave this place. But there's nowhere to go. Where would you go? Imagine if the only city in the world was something you hated. I guess we gotta use the left and hope that maybe that does something. So we just gotta wait. Because I suppose at this time, you, you just if you really don't like the city you're in, you, you can just move away, I, I suppose. Most, most people wouldn't do that because they are they just they get connected to where they are. And that that's good. That that's really good. But I suppose in this uh, day and age, you you don't you don't have to lose those connections just by moving away. I mean, it wouldn't be like a face-to-face -face connection necessarily. Uh, but you can always just keep in touch, you know, over the phone, online. So it works, which is nice. <laughs> 
Maybe maybe it's less than you would like, but it's definitely more than you could do in person. High five. A human hand? Cherry pie seller? If you're not gonna have a One cherry slice, pie, I'm gonna please. be disappointed. Oh wait, are those real cherries? Well, they ain't holograms, lady. Well, that's yeah, not an answer. Yeah, but where would you get real cherries in Navalis? Lots of places. Like? Oh, orchards up in the spire, growing beds down in the vents. Uh, one of those labs that grow cultured retro fruit. I'm not talking hypothetically here. Where did you <laughs> get those cherries? Wherever you like, lady. I find the best way to enjoy the flavor comes from tasting with your imagination. Ah. And I find the best way to avoid food poisoning is to know where my cherries come from. I swear, these taste exactly like cherries. <laughs> that doesn't... That is not a normal thing to say about actual cherries. <laughs> you want a slice or not? <laughs> yes. N no. I can't decide. Come on. Have you even tasted real cherries? <laughs> Fucking before? good point. Back home, they were my favorite. The Eastern Peninsula? How the fuck do you know? Yeah. Well, you'll love this pie. A genuine slice of home. What do you say? No, actually, I'm good. Suit yourself, country girl. Oh my god. You're not even gonna go for it? Okay, fine. Oh, falconer! What the hell? You have a falcon? Is that like a hey, robot you falcon? Interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? No. Just one hundred limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. I don't care. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well. <laughs> He's not a hologram. Oh, come on. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A what? falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Ah, where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer. Until the big dust storms hit back in the year of the dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons. <laughs> sure, but why does it make any difference? She said when they people were know extinct. they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money. I'm trying to find the meaning of what he said. Okay. He's not wrong. Because people tend to get depressed when they think about the past. Once existed. Instead of something that never could. I mean, that is the, the future pipe... That is the perfect pipe dream. If you just have something in the... In... It's like a perfect idea in your head you know you can't just you can't just uh, get the big rush it's kind of like telling someone your big plans is like oh my god you feel like you already done it but you haven't done jack shit right it must existed like that that's kind of how it works usually like that's like this is a, it's gonna be an oversimplification but looking back into the past that's how you get depressed don't do that you're not gonna get depressed easy peasy look into the future that's how you get anxiety I mean, of course, there's got to be emotional attachment to it, but people usually can't help that. And, I mean, they can't help it. I'm saying it is pretty damn hard to uh, get better at that. And you can. You can. Uh, you can look into it. Uh, for example, CBT. But, uh, but that's not... That's, again, that's just an option. Still. 
Okay, Gil. Are you the delivery person? Yes. Rania. Yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. My limbs, calm, holocrons, augments. Everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. Where are you going? I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Queue to are what? Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? No. Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. I think this is gonna be relevant later. Maybe not, not him. But... Of course we see a lot of desperate people. I mean, did nothing, but also... Hey, Rania, you met that guy going on the Ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. What? Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Well, look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? <laughs> he knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things I are going wrong, not. it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemis. I have to think. Why not just try to convince Gil to not, su uh, to not commit suicide? Hey, got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> Uh, Jimmy is the name. Jimmy Roll High. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? <laughs> you gotta know. Everyone does. <laughs> they they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll High. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're going to invest in them one day. I'm telling you. Yeah, but next time, they're just gonna break your hand. No, they're not gonna break your hand. They're gonna take your augments if they can. Take your money, then they're not... Or maybe they, they're not even gonna let you play. That, that's the kind of thing. Like, if they can take away what you got without consequences, some people will do that. You gotta wait for the lift, I think. 
Oh man. So do we deliver Gale's things into the mailbox or the cloud punk? Why are we not trying to save Gale? Not that I know. I suppose I would be taking away his choice to kill themselves. But are they making this choice in sound might? Is it ever okay for someone? Is it ever okay f that someone tells you that they're gonna kill themselves, and you're just gonna say, you know what? I think you made the. R I think I'm gonna respect your decision. I'm not gonna change your mind. Because I find that very hard to justify. I mean, I suppose in some very rare cases. You know, someone, someone's gonna die, and they're suffering. But that guy, just basically, it, it kind of can't looks like an, a young, young man without hope. And, and he just gave up. And I think that's, that's the worst part, because it, you can't say anything about humans, but we have this stupid sense of, like, um, optimism, in a way, that things work out. Wait, which one I'm doing? We deliver it to Cloudpunk, or we deliver it to, uh... This is where we deliver it to Cloudpunk. Or we can just send it to his family. Let's just send it to his family. Do I just need to play ball with Cloudpunk? Fuck, I need to play ball with Cloudpunk. I think. I need to fucking uh, grow a spine if I... If we, uh, if we, if we keep with this job, I suppose we gotta play along I hate doing this being a delivery driver no paying off a dead man's debts at least we won't get in trouble I hate this city because they definitely have because you gotta be realistic here you can you can just make the choice like wait I can't repair this lift oh I didn't realize that these items actually have value past uh apart from selling. Are you experiencing hardy? Hey Rania. Um are you there? Yeah. You don't sound good, control. What well, I'm fine. Uh if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he said some drinks. He sounds strange, like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point, collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Control out. Hmm. You gotta wait for the left. Well, are we just gonna play ball? with this job and uh well it sucks would it be even better like imagine if imagine like if his relatives were like his family it doesn't matter like uh like sisters brothers um or well it doesn't i don't really have to list it but like yeah i mean people who cared about him people who invested in him, wanted uh, the best for him, would you prefer to get his belongings and uh, possibly get a letter of, you know, him killing himself and that's just gonna be soul crushing or would you just not know? I mean, I, I, I suppose at this point, I'm, I mean, it's not truly about the belongings here at this point. I mean, Cloudpunk might just uh, return the rest of it uh, that, you know, that goes above his debt. Which, actually, might emit in this world. I mean, they they might go after his death anyway. Because even in even in current current day, you might not know this, but if a person dies, they might go after their family members. That's just how it fucking works. Which is super scummy. And uh, or the person goes completely insane, or not completely insane, but like this happens to old people that they, they they lose their mind and uh, 
they still the agencies are still just trying to get the money and uh, I mean it's pretty good for you if you not had any experience with this but it is just super scummy ultimately money is very impersonal and well I suppose I'm now debating the concept of money in the first place which is uh, like a good way to uh, like trade it's a good, good way this good good mutual currency just to trade value but money doesn't necessarily mean value it just means uh, that uh, some people are not gonna make it that's the entire concept behind money <sighs> and that others will have it better but yeah I mean I probably should not go into that I'm not uh, exactly an expert on, on the subject but this is one depressing night in this city but definitely full of feels but it is a, a, a valid concern that actually it's uh, displayed in many many media that uh, the future will be distributed between like the super rich and uh, the poor who just commit suicide because they are so desperate commit suicide young and willingly pick up payload at nav point or return to Evelyn oh let's go back where's the tail point <laughs> I didn't see it And I, and I do believe that, uh, I mean, in the future, money money will just either becomes relevant, uh, becomes irrelevant. I, money has to become irrelevant. Like, but money would, would need to become irrelevant at one point because, I mean, as, as long as everyone has enough, like, imagine if you had, like, some kind of a, like, okay, this is, like, Star Trek thing, but, like, 3D printer that can print anything. You know, we just had, like, power for everybody but would we still have money just to have this dumb social hierarchy i know that some people have this uh have the like the well i super into it but it's just not right i suppose okay so we also have to chat with Evelyn. we go up where am i supposed to go though um I want to take the lift. Because if you just, you know, take money out of the equation, you will have a lot of people who, like, people at the start of their life just need help. Because they obviously need help. And people, as, as they increasingly become uh, older, they just need help. And, and a lot of people, regardless of their age, they just need help. And we can just be... Money is basically that society that, you know, if you need help, you can go fuck right off. That's that's the idea behind money. Or, like, not everyone's gonna make it. That's kind of the idea behind that. And this is kind of a... Oh, Miss Octavius Butler. Oh, let's go. Let's chat. I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. What is that? Huh? Oh, it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler, too. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going then. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. 
Um, am I back to the car? Oh, parking prohibited. Oh my. Didn't your pa this passengers is first. cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slow? Oh, fuck off. I understand fine. Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met. I sure. would love to hear. <laughs> well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. That, that's a long name. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. The most... The hardest to believe part is that you call your your loved one Mr. Octavius Butler every single fucking time. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. It's a polymer plastic. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes, we met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. Mm -hmm. And nice. now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, oh don't God. start all that again. Despite your condescension, I'm happy for you. You don't have to uh, take a bite at others to feel good. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. People who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not yeah. everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here. Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots, and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. You see, Mr. Octavius Butler, look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist <laughs> together in this city without all the systems breaking down. Oh my That's god. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We're all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in move. my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. Ugh. We're very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. 
Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? What is I the speculation? So. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. Holy fuck. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Oh, so I will not go with them. I kind of expected that I will have like a big drama of, uh, of meeting the previous residents. I suppose I can walk around and pick up some stuff. Let's do that. Let's, let's walk around. Ah, uh, wow. She, uh, she, she was really good at uh, portraying a super annoying woman. <laughs> uh, but what can you do? Do you really want to offer these people? I don't know if that would be right. Would that be right? Would you want super harsh upon them? Just because of how they act? I don't know if that would be right as well. R right either. I mean, the thing is, what, 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 what needs to be understood is that those who are rich, or richer, and act wrong, well, that, that's wrong, but, you know, you, you can be, you can be poor, and, and wrong and you can be rich and wrong I mean I mean that doesn't really <laughs> yeah that just happens okay uh, I guess we're gonna go to the other side and pick up the two packages then go up and, and just see if we some, find something uh, cool and then we're gonna uh, go with the car <sighs> Oh, we, we do... We can only go home and talk to Evelyn. I would like that. This was a rather straightforward mission. Just just drop off a rich couple. And when it comes to androids... I mean, ultimately... Come visit us at Peterwitz Watching Clock Shop. We have the finest tech in all Novalis. What? Cybermatic arm? Who might have thrown something so expensive away? <laughs> That's so expensive. I have no... Thanks, Mr. Witz. Wh how, what? As the MP3 said to the wave, adios. What? No one gets that reference, merchant man. Even the current generation will really struggle to get it. No? It's mostly MP4 now, right? No, it's totally just MP4 now. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying, what I was saying, that's if you think that I'm that this is just a segue, no, this is actually just a prompt for myself to even uh, attempt to remember that I still struggle to do. So, about androids, wait, can I? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we can go here. And... Like, ultimately when it comes down to it... Like, even people... What, what you call a soul is just straight up your programming. I mean, this this might make some, some people uncomfortable. But that's just basically your programming from, from the start. And that programming might have been affected by your biological body uh, capabilities. But that's basically just your programming over time. What you call a, a, a soul. Because you can be copied. Like, if you ever got to the point where you can just copy people, then, then you can just copy their programming. Just, just like we copy programs. You know, you even think tw twice about, like, you know, just copying a picture, for example. That's what a person is. We just, we're just not there yet. Here's what I can offer you today. And that's probably gonna make people uncomfortable. Thanks. 
I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, I'm not sure how, but th that's a uh, that's an interesting discussion as well. If you just get copied, is that still you? Like, for example, you died, and you got copied. Is that you? Would you would you feel good about that? That person is still you, or would that person be not be you at all? Where the hell I am? I guess we're gonna pick up some stuff here, then, but then we're gonna go away. Because, objectively, that, that person wouldn't be you at all. Because you can be copied, even without you dying, or... Or, well... You can be copied endlessly. And I suppose when it comes to Android, like, I suppose the, the biggest uh, deal would be, like... Now we saw like an android with a human, but most likely it would be a quite a huge difference Nestor between an android Cray and a human. Is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally I don't sell to your kind, <laughs> but business is hard these days. My kind? Wait, what? Get done. That'll be all. Nestor Cray will never remember the kind stranger. Never remember. Okay, cool. I guess I'm just stuck in this pickup y mode, and we really need to go back to the car. I just want to pick up some packages, then then we go. Then we really have to go. Actually, I, what I want to see is like. Our, now, what I was really happy to see is that we used the electronics to repair the lift. Now, that's interesting. We also get to see a uh, uh, special arm. That I can possibly uh, get for myself, but do I want to do that? If you could just get a cybernetic arm for yourself right now, right now you can get it later. Right now, right now, as you watch this video, someone comes up to you. Do you want a cybernetic arm? It's a kick-ass arm, but you would have to cut off your arm for that. Would your question be yes? Or would you just say like, yeah, you know, I mean, this my my, uh, my arm kind of works. I mean, thanks for the offer, but maybe no. Hi. So, what is your star sign, please? Does it matter? I don't know. Why uh, do you ask? I identify as I a death star. I am a mating ritual. Tell me, did it hurt? <laughs> did what hurt? When you hurtled to Earth from orbit. Do you mean when I fell from heaven? Affirmative. I require an answer, humanoid. <laughs> I'm not really interested. Sorry. I will find the required combination of vocalizations to entice you for romantic relations. I'm no expert on romance, but even I know that's not how it works. Incorrect. Please listen carefully to the following statement. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I would require the vowel U and the vowel I to be contiguous. Do you want some advice? Affirmative. If you want to talk to someone you like, try asking their name. And introduce yourself, too. I am bah. Douglas. Name, please. Nice to meet you, Douglas. I am Rania. Maybe try to ask questions in a less aggressive way. Rania, please touch my carbon fiber endoframe. <laughs> Why would I do that, Douglas? Because it's made of boyfriend material. Oh. Okay, that is a little funny. But I'm afraid you're not what I'm looking for, Douglas. And I'm not even looking anyway. Very well. I shall continue to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Oh fuck. I guess we're gonna wait for the lift. Uh, maybe maybe we just gotta check uh, check the waiter first. Here's what I can offer you today. Why are you so stylish? Liquid sun. Thanks. Thanks for this crap. I look forward to seeing you again. Uh, okay. I I'm I'm really glad we bonded there, uh, uh guy. But I talked for two seconds. But this is also uh, very common, and uh, well, customer service, I suppose, that they seem to be really into you. <laughs> I was like, really? I know, but the thing is, would you pref do you like it if if uh, people fake like you? 
But they don't like you, they just like pretend to like you. Do you prefer that? But you can say like neutral, but what if, would you prefer someone hating you? Um, maybe not hating you, but pretending pretending to be nice or being genuinely genuinely rude. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. I guess I guess most people would uh, pick uh, pretending to be nice there. And rude is not nice, I, I suppose. Uh, I just I just tried to make it a uh, a more 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 challenging decision, but yeah, I mean, ultimately I, I would I would pick neutral. I would be like, hey hey hey, what's up? And you know, just you're just doing your thing. That's I'm cool with that. It doesn't doesn't have to be like fake nice. Like you know, you're like you're just way too into like how you're so excited to see me. I mean, I've met other people before. They're never this excited to see me. Okay, let's go. Neon boy. What a fucking uh, sign. But it's, it's amazing. The city is amazing. Alright, let's go. Oh, maybe we, before we go. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty long episode, so let's just end it. I, I managed to loot this entire area. I don't know if it's... I don't know if we should do that, but like, we also get to chat. And uh, yeah, I mean, we... we Still have a lot to loot, and, and we have other areas as well. We have to go back to Midtown. We don't even have a, like a complete map. We just this is just one section of uh, I don't even know which section this is, but this is definitely the the rich section. We got Avalon Heights, Inari Gardens, Diamond Hills, and we we didn't go there before, so we have to go back and talk to Evelyn. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.